It's important where you get your dog from. Hi, this is Rich with Off Grid Dogs Training and Behavior. This is Taboo. And we're crazy about you because you love your dog. So I hardly ever get a customer for dog training, a client who needs help with their dog because of behavior problems, if they bought their dog from an ethical breeder. Because if that client has enough knowledge and common sense and cares enough to do the research to find a good breeder to get a puppy, they probably also have enough knowledge to know how to live with the dog and they're not going to have behavior problems and they're not going to need a dog trainer. But most people unfortunately don't do that. Most people either adopt from the shelter, which is nice if you understand what that involves, or unfortunately most of my clients, uh, their, their puppies, their dogs came from pet stores, which is a huge no-no because those puppies all come from puppy mills. And this is why that's important. So you've all heard the expression, um, adopt, don't shop. That's people encouraging you to go adopt a dog from a shelter, which is a nice thought in theory. Unfortunately, what they don't tell you is you're really going to be gambling with your future as a pet owner because you don't know that dog's background. And shelters are famous for misleading people on top of that, even though they don't know the dog's background either. So what I mean by that is, first of all, you don't know where the, the dog originated. So the most important uh, time in a dog's life is the first eight weeks it spends or should spend with its mother. So uh, you don't know if that mother was in a, a good environment. Uh, you don't, of course, you don't know anything about the mother or the fathers. So you don't even know if the dog has any chance of having good genetics like you would if you went to an ethical breeder where they go to the trouble and the expense of making sure they're, they're uh, combining a, a, a male and a female that's gonna have a good chance of turning out good genetics. Um, on top of that, you don't know what the environment was like for that mother during those eight weeks. She hopefully had her puppy for eight weeks. Um, but that's the most important time in a dog's life is that first eight weeks, with, because that's where they learn how to be a dog. And so many people get dogs that uh, come from a puppy mill where the environment is a nightmare, the genetics are a, a joke, they're a nightmare, they could care less about the genetics, so they breed any two dogs that they can make money off of from ignorant dog purchasers. And so you're getting a dog that has so many strikes against it because it had a bad environment, you know, the mother was all stressed out in a puppy mill. Um, the puppy didn't even get to be with the mother for eight weeks because they don't wait eight weeks. They get that thing on the truck and truck it down to Florida from Wisconsin or Indiana or someplace with 500 other puppies all freaking out because they've just been jerked away from their litter mates and their mother and uh, thrown into a truck. So what kind of a traumatic experience was that? And this is uh, not something the dog's going to get over. And um, then it's in a pet store and these pet stores are horror shows, so we don't know what kind of environment that puppy had before you came along and bought it. So you're, you've got a dog now with built-in behavior problems because of the most important time of its life we're not in a good environment and it didn't, it's not starting out with good genetics. Whereas the people who go to the trouble to find an ethical breeder, much less likely to have those kinds of problems. It's still a slight gamble, but a much smaller gamble than when you go to the uh, uh, puppy store. And, and by the way, you're promoting dog torture when you fund these puppy mills. And that's all you're doing, because they're not saving that puppy, buying it from the pet store. It'll quickly be replaced by another one, and you're, you're just making sure that that evil industry perpetuates. But as far as uh, the, uh, the adopting, uh, same thing, you don't know the genetics of the dog, you don't know the early environment of the dog. Uh, you, if you know what you're doing, you can do a, a temperament test with the dog and get a good idea of maybe what you're getting into, but um, it's, it's not the same chance of success. Because you have to realize, and this is what most dog purchasers and dog owners don't understand, it's not the money you spend to buy the dog, that's the least expensive thing you'll ever do with that dog. It's not even all the money you'll spend feeding it. Hopefully you're not feeding it kibble. So you're, if you're feeding it something decent, that's going to be kind of expensive. 
But what's really important is the thousands of hours you're going to be investing with this dog. And if you're not going to be investing thousands of hours with the dog, don't get one because you're not going to have a successful relationship. And when you realize you're going to be putting all this time and effort and money into this animal for the next 12 to 15 years, hopefully, um, maybe you'll be a little particular about where you get it from.